so much to do where's my takeoff list ah uh, oh my hair my hair lord i got call for tcia i got a call for tcia to make sure she has me down for an appointment because so that girl be busy all the time uh-huh yeah all right let me put this phone on speaker hello girl hi Boticia. girl you know i'm hey, just girl. calling to make sure that you have me down for my hair appointment, because you know I'm getting married. Girl, I heard that is awesome. Yeah. yeah I got you, though. Um, come around about uh, 5 o'clock. OK, that's good. I'll be on point okay, by then. Still working overnight. Girl, I know that's right. I heard overnight make a whole lot of money, too. Oh, overnight? What you talking about? I work 9 to 5. I don't work no overnight. Girl, I'll be worn out. Huh? I'm talking about five o'clock in the morning. I need to be at my shop. My yeah. shop, five o'clock in the morning. Sure. Thank, Thank you. In the morning. In Are the you? Girl, let me tell you, five o'clock. I ain't even turning over that time in the morning. I, I'm gonna be up and at your. I didn't even know you were open that early. Well, I'm gonna have to open for you. Cause girl, your hair. Girl, let me tell you about her hair. Mm -hmm. I almost had to use a rake. A rake to comb oh, through her hair. She she done broke my hot comb last hot time. Comb. Lost money. Oh, that's the, the girl with the beady beads. Yes. Huh? Oh, not the Kenta. She looks like Miss Sealy from the color purple. Oh, uh, uh, hello, Voltesia. Hello, you guys. Yeah, um, what happened? I'm, I'm here. I can hear you. Um. Oh, um. Oh, oh, well, we just telling the truth. I'm just telling that. the truth. Look, that perm on her hair. Yeah, for her hair fall out, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can smell the perm from here. Oh, uh, listen, listen, Boticia. I, I need to talk. Is it okay to talk to you like now? I know you got a customer in the tree. Is it okay to talk yes. in front of her? Of course, girl. This is family. Yes, oh, <laughs> Go ahead. all right. Now you know um that I'm getting married, so I have a lot of expenses, and I was wondering if you would do me a favor. And put me on the books, you know, making an account for me, because I'll pay you after the wedding. I have more than enough by then. Oh, oh, wait a minute now. Um, if she gets me put on the books, I'm gonna be on the put on the books too. Yeah. Girl, you know I got the children. <laughs> what is that? What you talking about? So you want to be the the book too? See, that's no, why I don't want to talk in front of her. Ain't nobody being put on no book. Ooh. I don't even read books. What book you want to put yourself on, girl? Ball. Oh, hold on, I got a collect call. Good. One second. One second. Hold on. Hold on. There's a call coming in. Collect. There's a prison deal. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. See, now that ain't right. You know, we girls. But TC and we girls. We go way back. Girl, business is. Uh uh. Tell them kids to get up out of my shop. What is wrong with you? Mm -mm. I like these baby kids. Right. Um, we, if business is business, girl. I ain't nobody talking some put you on the book. But anyway, you know she having a wedding. Girl, you, you should have been Oh, my God. Wait, wait a minute. I need a babysitter, girl. Girl, bring all the kids. The kids? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. She's um, trying to eat flower girls and stuff. Oh, my. Oh, wait a minute. Can I bring the, my boyfriend? Yeah, girl. I'm oh, my God. Wait, okay. Um, Can I bring take one or look one? Who, who should I bring? Wait, wait, wait. Well, hello. Hello. Let me hello. Take wait a minute. Hello. 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 Knock, knock. Hi. Hey. Are you inviting someone else to my wedding? 
I'm trying to figure out which boyfriend I should bring. Should I bring Stephon or Sean? You told me Tay Tay, though. You told me Tay Tay. Sit down again. Otisia, what did you just say? Yeah. What I said, I said, I'm trying to bring her, her kids, and her boyfriend. We're going to be there. We're going to be square, honey. Look, look, look. Y'all know the back row? Didn't I tell you the back row? Because y'all ain't bringing room. no wedding gift, and now you bringing extra people. No, and, and if you do show up, girl, it's art. It's not meant for the back row. Oh, and, and, oh, and um, the best go in the front, not the back. <laughs> but one more thing. Tell the pastor to shout out my salon. You know, mm, Moticia Herbside Salon. I like baby. that. I like that. You no. Know? <laughs> You know what? Um, it's these cheap phone. I know I need a better quality phone because it sounds like you wanted me to ask the pastor to shout you out in the middle of my wedding ceremony. What's he supposed to say? Does my hair look nice? Let's give it up for Boticia. Curbside Salon. Girl, um, I don't. I don't believe I was. Was I speaking Spanish? I mean, was I speaking Spanish? No. Um, yeah, that's what I said. But I, I was thinking you could say it like after, mm. after he do the ceremony, whatever, whatever. whatever. Yeah. And he yeah, said, yeah, teacher, you know. I also got flyers. I'm gonna put on every car mm. I see. I'm gonna put on. And girl, I got a you big old flyer too. Uh, 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 you gonna put it right there? That's smart. Outside the church. Smart. I like I that. I don't want that's all smart. that litter at my wedding. No, y'all gonna embarrass me. I don't want all that litter. Look, you know what? Um, I, I, I got my mom is calling me. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye. Uh, hey, 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 Connie, and my baby. How you doing, baby? I am so excited about your wedding. I am so excited. You did good this time, girl. You did real good. Uh, you picked such a wonderful guy, and I like him. Well, I'm glad to hear that, mom, because you know everybody else you kept putting down. You like books and boys don't mix. Let's deal with the books. Now I got the boy. And well, you know what I'm praying? That this guy be as good to me as Lester is to you. Yeah, well, you know, I just wanted to tell you that your father's been calling too. He's been calling you. He told oh, me Lord. that he, he's been calling you and you won't even pick up the phone. You just, you know, why he's reaching you out to, to you. Every conversation that we, why can't we have a nice conversation between the two of us? Why you keep bringing him up? I don't want nothing to do with him. Mommy he ain't nothing but a sperm donor. And you know, prison guys are expensive. When they, when you deal with a guy in jail, you gotta do collect calls, you gotta put money in their account. Look, he wasn't there when I needed him. I don't need him to be there now. I'm about to start the second half of my life with the love of my life. And now he wants to come and be a part. What? You need to talk to your father before it's too late. But you know what? I'm not going to talk about it anymore because all you want to do is black, you know, talk negative the about him. But he's donor. trying. Your ex-husband is a sperm donor. Well, well, I, w I wouldn't say it that way. You know, he's he's your father. He's been reaching out to you. But anyway, you know, what can I do for you for your wedding? Is there anything that I can do for you? I don't want to talk about that anymore. Yes, mother. I got a check off list. Hold on. I've been going down my list to make sure I don't forget anything. I got that. I talked to the D. I talked to. Oh, oh, mom. Yeah. The wedding cake. I need the wedding cake. I need somebody to pick up my wedding. Could you pick that up for me? I've been doing so much running around. Sure, sure. Lester, pick it up for you. You know, you got him wrapped around your finger. You know, he just loves his little. Oh, Connie, he just loves you so much. He'll do anything for you. Text me the address, and I will go there and pick up the cake. By the way, who's paying for this cake? Oh, well, you, you did say Lester's going, right? So now if yes. Lester is going, then I don't have to worry about who's going to pay for it. Because yes. if Lester is there, Lester That's what I pay. said. You got him wrapped around your fingers, that's all. Well, anyway, I'll talk to you later, baby. Okay. What else do I have to do? Um. Oh, last night the DJ saved my life from a broken heart. Oh, let me call this DJ. They say he's really good. He can't even highly recommend it. DJ, DJ, DJ Killer. 
He gonna kill us. Um, uh, ah, this reception. Hello, Hello? Hello DJ. Who is who is this? Who is this? Well oh, this is Constance. You're supposed to be doing my wedding. Oh, hey. Okay, how you doing? You gonna love that list I got for you, you know. Yeah, well, you know, DJ, you came highly recommended. I am so glad you had that date available. That just made my day. That was a blessing. Hey, so, you know me. I don't want to brag. Well, what I'm calling for is to find out what the playlist is. So, you know, I just get a, a heads up. Oh, man, you're going to love this. Like, hit this, hit this. I got some okay. Bust Town Tatiana, some Pop That Tang Girl, some Make It Drip, and oh, they're going to love it. The Bounce It That, you know? Whoa, whoa, well, this is not a ratchet house party. This is my wedding. I mean, I wanted something classy, like Dance With My Father Again, or I'll Be Loving You Always. You know, um, I'm saving all my love for you. Or, or even a song by, um, Pastor Wilson, because we're friends, you know, love songs, nice songs, you know, just uh, just for all to say I love you. Oh man, they can't do a twerk contest without having a twerk contest. The winner's gonna get fifty dollars. They can't do that. Wow, it's a twerk. Like a Whoa, to me. twerk contest. Wait, 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 DJ, DJ, hold on, DJ, this is not what a little cheap strip joint. All right, don't be. Mm. You, you will uh, not be playing. No about a hundred. A hundred? Oh, oh boys, this is my wedding. This is a classy wedding. You will not be playing a little nasty song at my wedding. Boy, if you mess up my reception, you're going to have to bounce back from the hospital. Ooh, look, redo that list and call me back. Oh, God. I guess I'll find some old people need it then. No problem. Old people, no. I want love songs, DJ. Love songs. It's a wedding. Bye, DJ. I honor my father for helping me with my homework, cooking, and just yeah, taking for being there. And thank you for supporting school. And I would like to take the time to honor my father and say Happy Father's Everyone, Day. Everyone, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers especially Pastor Alexander House, who has helped the community out a lot. God bless everybody. Happy Father's Day to my son and Pastor Alexander House, who is a spiritual dad also. F is for faithful. You are loyal, constant, and steadfast. A is for advisor, who leads us in the right direction. T is for teacher, who teaches us the pure and unadulterated word of God. H is for helper. You are always there to lend a hand. E is for example, which you lead by every day. And R is for respectful, which you are in everything you represent and do. We appreciate and love you and pray that you will know every possible joy and blessing on this day. Again, Happy Father's Day to my son and pastor, Alexander Howe. My phone is hot tonight. Mother Booster. Oh, Mother Booster. Yes, Mother Booster. Hello, Sister Constant. How are you? Oh, good, Mother Booster. How are you doing? I was so happy to hear about you getting married. Thank and, you. Um, and since I'm the mother of the church, I feel it's my responsibility to talk to you about how you should carry yourself before the wedding. Okay. I prayed on it, and I looked through the Bible, and I made a list. And this is what's on the list. Right. And I also made you a copy, too. Now, you know it's important for you to stay holy, pure, before the wedding. Mm -hmm. No fornication. Stay away from your ex, because he could be tempting before the wedding. Mother and, Busa, what do you mean? Don't, don't, don't interrupt me now. Don't interrupt. Let me finish this here. Wear long skirts and long dresses. Make sure your blouses are pinned up to your neck. Be home before 7 p.m. and no TV shows with kissing. 
Now, me and the church, we're planning you a beautiful bridal shower. Now, um, we're going to have prayer and scripture. And Deaconess Arnett is going to be singing her favorite song by Mahalia Jackson. Mother, she can't sing? She going to mess that song up. Uh, don't interrupt me now. They will, then we will be playing Bible Bingo, Name That Apostle. And can you find the seven fruits? And we'll end it with encouraging words from Mother Lay. She's long-winded. And after that, we're gonna we're gonna serve some delicious church food and present you with your gift. Oh Lord. Oh mother, I tell you what, if I'm not able to make it, um because it's, it's supposed to be a wedding reception. Um, it's supposed to be a, a bridal shower, not, not a daycare thing. But I tell you what, if you put those gifts together, I'll pick them up afterwards. You know, I'll, I'll swing by and get them. Now, no, 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 no. We will not take no for an answer. Everybody has been working so hard. And um, everybody knows their part. The food's been bought. The gifts been bought. And we will not take no for answer. You got to come, bring your friends. Well, I, I, let me see. If I don't even. Well, 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 hold it. I don't even care if you're having another bridal shower. Just make sure you come to the church bridal shower. Oh, my mother! Well, well, you know what? Would you look at this? I got another phone call. It's from the um the bridesmaid. I got it. Elizabeth. You know, I got to take her phone call. So wait, wait, a minute. wait a minute. Make sure you bring her too when you come. Oh, I, I'll see what she say. I'll see if she's available, mother. Gotta go, mother. Thanks for calling. Bye, mother. Okay, bye-bye. All right. Elizabeth. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, girl. Ooh. Girl, Elizabeth. Lord, yes. honey, you saved my life. I so glad you called me. If it wasn't for you calling me, I would be stuck on the phone with Mother Pusa saying all this crazy stuff about what she want me to do. That's oh, crazy. Now I get it. Saved your life, Mother Booster. I get it. Anyway, you know, well, girl, that's your church, folks. Okay, but listen, let me tell you why I called you. I have to swing by your house, and I need two things. One, I need a fabulous wig, because I have to look fabulous for your wedding. And also, I need outfits because we're going to be doing a number of things. So I need at least two outfits. So when can I come check out your closet? Because you know what kind of closet you got. Girl, you know you got the clothes. Well, um, today I'm doing my wedding check off list. So today is not good. And tomorrow, what's it coming? What about the day after tomorrow? You know, <laughs> then we can, um, you can try stuff on and we can have like a little fashion show. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Then I can just glide like I'm on a real runaway and you got some fun clothes. Okay, so if it's the day after tomorrow, so be it. I just have to wait for them. But listen, let me tell you what else I called to tell you. Hmm. I have planned your bridal shower. And oh, when I tell God. you, listen, listen, I'm not finished yet. When I tell you about the strip. Did you hear me? Ripper. Yes. Ripper. <laughs> Girl, he is fine. Ooh, Good Lord. And he got a body. Oh, Lord, be still my heart. Be still Wait till you see those muscles. And girl, <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> he might even make you not want to get married. I'm mm. telling you, girl. No, have mercy. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she's talking about. If it looked that good. Girl, oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Fine oh, 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 chocolate. Oh, I can go on and on. Tell you about it. Look, 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 look. Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth. yeah. Well, is, is he going to pop out of a cake? Oh, I didn't think about that. This fine chocolate man popping out of a vanilla cake. 
Girl, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. This is going to be the cream, the cream. Oh, this will be the shower. Girl, Woo! I can't wait. Yes, I'm now I'm excited about my bridal. Yeah, because we're going excited. to be partying, girl. Woo! Um, wait a minute. Hey. Wait a minute. We've got this call coming through. Okay, all right now. Now listen, listen, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. I'm coming by there the day after tomorrow. Take care of your business, girl. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll be with hey. I'll have a couple things laid out and see what you look like, you know, if you can fit them or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna have a fashion show. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah glide in. Party. All right, girl. Ah, all right. Oh Lord, let me, you know, let me call my stepdaddy lester and tell him how much i appreciate him for walking me down the oh no here come another call what is it oh have mercy this man won't stop calling oh, let me see what it is all right all right yes i'll accept the charges oh hey, hey pumpkin pumpkin are you there hey man this is you Okay. Well, this is not Pumpkin. This is Constance. And what is it that you want? What's the big emergency? Why you keep blowing up my phone? My goodness. Every time I turn around, you see collect calls coming through. You know you costing me money. I already got a big expense with my wedding. Now your hand is in my pocket with these collect prison phone calls. What do you want? What's the big emergency? <laughs> Okay, calm down, baby. You're gonna, you're gonna give yourself an aneurysm there. Look, look, look. I know, I know you're excited. I'm excited too. I just, I just had to call you and tell you how proud I am of you. You are finally getting married, my little girl. Oh, oh, how I wish circumstances was different. I just do so that I could be there myself to walk my pumpkin down the aisle. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say you were proud? Yes. For what? You had nothing to do with the person I am. Lester is the one that was there for me. Lester is the one that helped me with my homework. Lester is the one that went through the father-daughter dance. Lester was there when the boyfriend broke my heart. Lester taught me how to be a lady. Lester paid for my college. Now you proud. For what? And walk me down the aisle. No, 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 no. Lester will be walking me down the aisle. Would you want to come in on a tail end and take advantage of all the good stuff that Lester did? No, not so. I don't think so. Lester is my daddy. Look, look, little girl. Lester has done a lot. Yes, he has. But Lester did not give you life. I did that. Look, yeah. long before you was born, I prayed for you. I Pray for a little girl. You know how some men, when they hear their wife pregnant, oh, I want a little boy to carry on. Not me. I prayed for a daughter. And, and when God granted my prayer request, I promised him that I would do right by you. Oh, you did. You prayed yeah. for a daughter, and then you couldn't even keep your word to God. You think spending your life in jail is doing right by her? Oh, if you was actually thinking about your daughter, you would have made sure you stayed on the street so that you could be with your daughter, not have somebody else take up your responsibility. But you know what? I'm glad you did because you make bad decisions. And I don't want you to be a part of my life or my children's life. I am glad you were so that I can live a better life. No, no, no girl, you, you, you don't have a clue. I, 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 we were inseparable. I took you everywhere. When they saw me, they saw you. You was a true daddy's little girl. And then the roof fell in. I got laid off from my job of 22 years. I had been doing the same thing. I, I, it's all I knew to do. I, I, I was lost. I had no idea how I was going to take care of everybody. And then here comes my cousin. He suggests that we go into business together. And I'm telling you, I, 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 then I had no idea where else to go. I jumped at the chance. And, 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 and since, since I had excellent credit, I put everything in my name, the certifications, the licensing, everything was in my name. And I'm telling you the truth. 
we were making money at first so fast, I, I couldn't even believe it. It was like a dream come true. It was like, like it was it was too good to be true. It, well, you know what, pumpkin? It was. It turned out to be a, 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 a Ponzi scheme. My cousin was embezzling money from the company. You hear me? He took thousands of dollars from people. He took people's life savings. He took money that people didn't have to give. Him and this whole company wasn't nothing but a fraud. Yeah, it sounds more like you the fraud. No, 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 fucking, by the time I found out anything was wrong, my cousin had went to the feds and said that the whole thing was my idea. I can you believe that? He, he, he put his spectator on me. And, 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 and being that everything was in my name, of course, I was the one that went to jail. Now, all of my money was tied up in the court case and all my assets was frozen. And I couldn't even hire an attorney. So yeah, the court gave me a public pretender and he didn't even try to fight for me. Now look, look, Pumpkin, I, I know this is a lot. And I begged your mother, begged your mother not to tell you until you were old enough to understand. And, and maybe by then, I'd be able to explain it to you myself. I, I just didn't get the chance till now. Look, let me tell you something. You poor you the dang. That big bad wolf took advantage of you. And you had nothing to do with it. You were totally innocent. Boy, ain't that a shame. You're always a victim. Everybody always doing you wrong. Take responsibility for your action. Man up and stop whining all the time. Now, you, now it's somebody else's fault. No, it's your fault. Be a man. Look, 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 just wait, stop, stop. Look, let me just get to the gist. An another reason for this call is that I was contacted by the prosecutor's office. They said they had found new evidence and reopened my case. And they found out that my cousin lied about everything, that I was completely innocent. And they dismissed all the charges. Do you hear me? I'm a free man. And, and not just that. They said that because I was locked up, because of false imprisonment and slander and all of that, that the state owes me a lot of money and compensation for all these years I've been locked up. Can you believe that? And when I found that out, I immediately went to the clerk of the jails and I asked him to make a record of all the collect calls that I've made to you and that you've accepted over the years. And, and baby, I'll be able to give you back every single dime. Ain't that exciting? Honey, I'll be home in two weeks. Well, lucky you. Always a day late and a dollar short. Oh. By the time you get home, I'll already be married. And that's a good thing. You know what? That means there is a God and he loves me. Cause I don't want you showing up at my wedding embarrassing me. You know what? And when you do finally get out and need a place to stay, you take the little $2 that they gonna give you and find yourself a room because you can't stay with me. Don't come knocking at my door. I'm telling you now, cause I don't want to be bothered with a sperm donor. Bye. Look, baby, wait, don't hang up. Wow. Don't hang up, cut. Pumpkin. No, dude, I ain't got no oodles and noodles. I don't believe this man is trying to come in my life at the end of my life. I don't need him. I needed him when I was a child, when I needed guidance. I don't need guidance now. I, oh, wait till, oh, wait till I tell mama this. Mama, oh, she ain't gonna believe this. Why he kept calling me. I knew he kept on blowing my phone up. Mom. Ooh, ooh, Lord have mercy. Come on, mama. Pick up the phone, mama. Hey, Connie, this is my baby. You excited? You still excited about the wedding? I know I'm excited. I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited. Yes, Ma, I just wanted to tell you why this man, your ex-husband, Mr. Sperm Donor, kept calling me. He's trying to call me, talk about he proud. He's so proud that I'm getting married. What are you proud about? 
He didn't have nothing to do with um, who I am. Or he didn't raise me. What is he from? Lester is my daddy. I could, oh, Lord, he got up under my skin so bad. Ooh. Connie, you need to stop you know. it. You know, you, you need to stop it. You, your father, he keeps, when he calls, he's always asking me about you. Yes, you have Lester as your stepdaddy, but your father, you refuse to take calls from him. You stopped visiting him when, he, when you were just when, in 15 years old. I mean, come on, you need to reach out to him before it's too late, okay? Too late? Ma, he's already dead to me. He's been dead all my life, so if he died, it wouldn't matter. And besides, yes, I stopped going there because when I'm 15 years old, I got my son a job and he want me to put my money in his account. Then when you go there, they patting it down and everything. You got to use a clear bag so they can see through it. No, I, I don't want to be bothered with him. And why do you keep wanting me to be doing with this this? This, this donor. I this want you to father. be bothered with him because you don't know the whole story. I he told me the that. whole story. It's no, somebody he else's fault. He ain't taking responsibility for nothing. He did it. It wasn't me. Uh, no, no, no. You Like I said, you don't know the whole story. It was your father that encouraged me to move on with my life. He told me to get divorced and he told me to remarry. That's why you have Lester in your life. And one thing, your new husband, you're gonna, you're gonna get married, but your new husband is taking all the baggage that you have from your, from your father because you won't let it go. You need to let it go before it's too late. Ma, I am letting it go. He won't let me go. Tell him to leave me alone. And my new husband, my daddy and my husband is two separate relationships. They have nothing to do with one another. The relationship I have with my husband will be the same like you have with Lester. And now you're talking about he told you to get married again. Then he even had the audacity to talk about he prayed for something and then asked somebody else to take care of him for him. I don't want to be bothered with him. That's ridiculous. Ma, ma. Oh, you ain't got nothing to say now, huh? Ma, come on, Ma. Ma, oh no, she did hang up. Did she hang up on me? Oh no, she did. Okay, maybe that was a little strong. Maybe I know she don't like me talking about her ex like that. Ma, I know you there. I just got off the phone. I'm calling you back, Ma. Pick up the phone. Oh, okay. You, it's gonna be like that. All right, Ma, I tell you what, I am going to come over there. Do you know what I mean? Are you right? Say you never reach me. I'm sorry, because I want you, and I need you, and I die for you always. Do you know what I mean? Are you right? Say you never reach me. I'm sorry, because I want you, and I need you, and I'm down for you always. I go to school, get my grades, yeah. Get straight A's every day, yeah. Me and Katie just got our report cards today, yeah. If you see, you will be surprised at uh, us and amazed at us. Dad, do you love me? Are you riding? So you never believe from sight me, cause I want you and I need you and I'm down for you always. Dad, do you love me? Are you riding? So you never believe from sight me, cause I want you and I need you and I'm down for you always. Happy, Happy Father's Day. I wrote Day. this. I wrote this song by myself, me and my sister. Happy Father's Day, Mustafa. I, mommy, want to give a shout out to my three sons on Father's Day, David, Lonnie, and Lamont, and my adopted son, Alan. Also to Mr. Ford next door, to me, who always gives a helping hand. God bless and be safe to all of you. Mom, Ella. Happy Father's Day, Rashawn. Love you. Happy Father's Day from me and Rashawn Jr. This message goes out in tribute to my husband, Ronnie McFadden. Honey, thank you for everything that you do and what you stand for. Even though when you're going through your own issues and troubles, you still find the time to love me, support me, and stand by me that everything that I go through. I just need to say I love you and happy Father's Day. And it's going to be lasagna tonight. Vegetable lasagna, no meat, side.
I'll add me just for you. Love you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy. Happy I love you. You're the best dad ever. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you. You're the best dad. All right, Ma. Let's get this over with. Had a conversation. And you don't know how to do face to face time. Face time, it's okay. I ain't got the no iPhone. I got I got the one that that um that's void. I got the void phone. The void. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. Okay, is you doing face time, right? Yeah, this is this is is it right? Okay, look look look. I just, am I am I there? You got me? Oh, keep still, Robert. Keep okay. still. Don't don't touch the phone. I can see you. Don't touch the phone. Got it. There you go. All right. Hey, hey, focus. Hey, baby. Hey, I, just, I just called to check up on you again. I I know it's been hard for you. And and baby, look, I I just want to say thank you for allowing me back in your life. You know what I mean? And, and now I hope you see all them little posts. I think they call posts. All the little posts and things I put up, you know, the one with the little kitty cat and the smiling face. I, I, I've been sending it to you, but you don't know. I don't know how to work this Facebook stuff, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm going to get it. I am. And you, Bob, you're doing a great job. And I'm glad you called me. And I have been seeing your um, posts. You know, they make me smile. They're so cute. I'm glad you didn't give up on me. But you know, since mom died, it's really been hard on me. Ah, oh, you know, yes. because she died while I was on the phone. And, mm, and one of the things that she really wanted was for us to get together. So wow. I'm glad you're there. You're helping me get through this. But the bad part is it took the death of my mom in order for me to realize how precious life is and to appreciate those around me. Yeah, baby girl. I'm, I'm, I'm grieving as well. I, your mother, oh, she was so special to me. I loved that woman deeply. And, 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 and truthfully, honey, I wanted nothing but the best for her. And, 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 and I'm so glad that she met someone who loved the both of you as much as I did. Now, although it still hurts real bad, at least I can find comfort in knowing that it's a brand new day and I finally have my daughter back in my life to help me through it. You know what they say, the past is history and the future is a mystery. But today, today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Yeah, you know, and that songwriter, the songwriter said, good or bad, that's my dad. I've yeah. got some talents from him that I would yeah. not have had. That's right. Yeah, like, like, like those good looks you got. That's all me, baby. That's all me. 
<laughs> yeah, Dad, that's you. But you know one thing that I would wish people knew? I mean, that if I could, I would tell everybody. It would be to love each other and, and to treasure each other. Because the moments we have together, they are a gift. And really, it's like, don't abuse the gift. You know what, little girl? You, you done got so smart. You ain't just pretty. You, you done got, you done not a week. You, might, man, you got them brains from your mama. Now, that's where you got them from, for sure. Now, you know, being that tomorrow isn't promised, baby, we need to live life to its fullest. You know how you do that is by giving love and being loved by everyone we can. Remember, baby, life itself is a gift. Don't abuse the gift. So All true. right, honey. All right. Well, it's good talking to you. And, 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 and once again, I, 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 I got this Facebook thing here that I'm going to keep practicing. So, so <laughs> I say, love you, honey. I got to put it close because I want you to hear it. I want you to hear it. Love you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Daddy, my daddy, my daddy. Seems like only yesterday I can still hear him say, I'm going south with you and mama to visit granddaddy and grandmommy. But it never seemed to be that way for him. He never seemed able to get vacation at the same time. He would say, I want you to go back to your roots. Learn how to be a fine lady just like your mama. <laughs> I think I was too young to understand the sacrifices daddy made for mama and me. I just know my daddy was the greatest man in the whole wide world. Even when he told me I could not get a C on my report card. You see, he went to high school at night while I went during the day. I couldn't do much else anyway. <laughs> After a while, he scared all the boys away. Just one look, that's all it took. And that look was a look on my daddy's face. Boy, you better bring her back here like she left here. And I'm going to be standing here with my shotgun by my side. And so it would be. And he never changed. He always remained the same. And so... I present to you today for all the daddies and the men in your lives that have been there for you, stood by you, whether it be a thought, a gesture, a word, a kiss, a memory, let them know they are the greatest men in the whole wide world and nothing and nobody can ever take that away. I'd like to pay tribute to some of the men in my life. First of all, my grandfather, who gave us our spiritual heritage and legacy, to my dad, who provided us with strong discipline and good habits, uh, my uncle Ralph, who uh, we called our rich uncle, and he is uh, my godfather, to my former manager, Frank, who assisted me with my professional life. He provided guidance and helped me to make the right moves to, that have made me successful in my career. My business partner and friend, Stan and Curtis, who were my business associates for many years and we still remain friends. Pastor Leandre White, who provides me with spiritual guidance, and he is also my prayer partner and my good friend Archie who's been my friend since I was 18 years old when I first started working and he has a wonderful sense of humor and he is a good person but especially my brother Dewey we say we're twins because we're all stair steps and I am very proud of my brother and I give him special tribute today God bless these men Hey, so I just want to say happy Father's Day to my son's father, Bart. Thank you for everything that you do for our son, Cairo. But yes, happy Father's Day. Love and appreciate you. Look, listen to my heart. Hear what it's saying. Curtains going up, keyboard strum, creative voices, brain. 
For on this day, the time has come for a gloriously righteous reckoning. So do come close, gather round, do come and heed my beckoning. For I have a message to you of angels disguised to walk like men. Some have stumbled, some have fallen, all rise in hearts again. Having to be normal when they're needed to be giants, to be strong as steel, but also gentle and compliant. Happy Father's Day to my Uncle Walter and my father for being father figures, and my Uncle Pete for being male figures in my life and being very special. Thank you. I want to do a tribute to my brother, Pastor Peter Winstead. Red was my brother, but he act like my father. He chastised me when I was younger, but he pampered me when I got older. He taught me so many things on how to deal with life. Rev was an individual, and if you knew Rev, Rev was different. And although he died in 2011, I miss him greatly. I don't have that person that I could run to and say, Ooh, wait till I tell him this, and wait till I tell Rev that. See, I needed that type of person. Rev was a songwriter, he was a playwright, and even now, to this day, I live by some of the songs he wrote. They were short, powerful, and they had a message. Rev's songs were like miracle songs. Rev was a true leader, and I miss him greatly. Hey, God bless you. This is Pastor Alexander Howes of the Fellowship Empowerment Center in East Orange, New Jersey. I hope you enjoyed this presentation that we put together for you. We just want to drive home the point that it is important for us to love and cherish each other while we have time. One thing this pandemic, this COVID-19 has taught us is we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm sure many of you watching right now did not think that the world would be in the state that it is in today. So cherish each other, love each other, respect each other, honor each other. Can I tell you something else? Listen, everybody makes mistakes, including me and including you. Please don't let the mistakes of others cause you to miss the valuable time that we have with each other. Love each other and cherish the gift. And to all of our fathers that are watching, and you could be a natural father. Maybe you didn't give birth to a child. Maybe you're the husband, the, the boyfriend. Maybe you're just the man next door, a teacher, a preacher, a coach, a mentor, a uncle, a cousin, or just a friend. We honor and appreciate you. Keep standing and taking your place. And listen, nobody's perfect. If you made some mistakes as a father, maybe you weren't there all the time. Now is better than never. Hey, stand up and take your place now. It's never too late for you to stand up. This society needs you and the world needs you. We're living in turmoil. We have a pandemic going on, a recession going on. There's so much racial injustice happening. There's a lot happening in this world right now. And we need the voices of our men to take your place. We appreciate those that take their place. And listen, if you haven't been taking your place, stand up and take your place now. Listen, I want to pray with you. We're going to say a quick prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for everyone watching, everyone under the sound of my voice, God. Lord, we thank you that you continue to protect them, God, and keep them, God. Even those that are dealing with this pandemic, God, hold them in the cradle of your arms, God. Lord, we thank you that all needs are met in the name of Jesus, God. If there's a financial need, meet it. If there's a need for healing, meet it, God. Whatever it is, God, in the name of Jesus, God. 
We even speak to brokenheartedness and depression that you would continue to lift the spirit of your children, God. You are the God of favor and continue to favor all of us, God, now. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen, I want to make sure that you like our page, the Fellowship Empowerment Center on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to this page that you're on right now so you don't miss any important updates from us. We have a lot of content coming in the future. I have our Cash App and our PayPal on the screen. And listen, if the Lord speaks to your heart to give, you are sowing into good ground. We want to make sure that we continue to help families and we help the community. So everything that you sow is definitely going into good ground. So our Cash App and our PayPal are on the screen now. Love each other. Cherish each other while you have time. I love you. And until we see you again, God bless and go in peace. Fathers fall, our children. We come to celebrate you. We just want to say.